What's going on, fellas? Just a quick video of the TRX4 Sport. This is uh, my unassembled kit that I'm about to start in the next couple days. Those are the parts that I did for my previous video. And I just want to show you guys a little space section that I got. I wish I had the man cave like all you guys have, but I don't. That's my Enjora Jeep Cherokee 324 wheelbase hard body. I recently put those Enjora wheel weight slash brake routers rotors on the uh, 1.9 B-Lux on my RTR Gen 8 Scout 2 original. Uh, 70 grams, 140 in the front, 140 in the back. Keeps it nicely firm, firmly planted on the ground because it is kind of top heavy. Reason why I got plastic is due to the fact my nieces and nephews always mess with this particular car. Uh, besides that, that's the Gen 8 pack. I put the same little uh, wheel weights, but those are RC lines and those are 56 grams a piece. 112 in the front, 112 in the back. And this is just my little section right here that I have. It's not much, but it does good for me. And I'll start off right here in this section. That right here is the light kit for the TRX4 Sport. Got it from Amazon, 15 to 20. Great reviews. And they, they got the turn signals that blink. That right there is the some tool, some scale accessories for the TRX4 to go on the back of the Expedition thing. That's an RC four-wheel drive steering stabilizer that I got to go with the TRX4 Sport. I actually have the Super Lift one right here. If you see closely the white one i got right there in my gen 8 pack and jura and i always like these ones it's a scale thing and uh they do break with a lot of torque and power but i'm not running the brushless and i'm not going crazy so i should be all right those are the 1080s that i have and all of my rigs and the extra one that i got for my trx4 sport that's the 12 turn crawl master 21t trail master that's the 35 kg serve for the trx4 sport don't mind that i'm talking fast the video cuts off after a certain amount of time and those are some D-rings. Those are the 1.9 B-locks that I'm going to run. But I'm putting those B-locks with that donut style of bun. Trust me, guys. No crawler innovation. No pro line. I'm using these for now. They do just as good. And, they, and it's a budget thing. Those are some extra parts that I got from Mercat. The small aluminum drive shaft. The chrome molly axles. And the, uh, the kit with the double shear mounts for the shocks. And to be honest, I had those parts for over a year. Probably nine, no, probably nine, ten months. Never had an issue because my Gen 8 don't really break like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that. This is my, uh, those are the MFR lower links for my for my Axe Body Gen 8 pack. These are the front and the rear front brass covers on the TRX4 Sport. And these are the MFR lower links. There's four of them. I got them on sale as well. These were about $15 a piece, so $30 for that. And I got these on sale for like $20 ship. Uh, from the guy MFR Links. I got a lower center gravity tray from Bauhaus the other day. I had $15 in credit. And so I paid $12 for that. That's a servo tester to test your servo. And you test it with the six volt battery holder. It was either buy one for seven or five for 10. So I did that. Those are the, that's the RC pit mat that I'm using to build the TRX4 Sport. And guys, just wanted to show you guys my little corner section. I know it's not the biggest, it's probably small. But it does wonders for me. It gets have my little space so the wife don't complain that I'm holding the kitchen hostage. And my tools that I use, I do use the ProTech tools right there and the dynamite to take off the tires. And uh, fellas, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what I'm working with, man, what I have over here. That's a J-Contest pit mat I got from J-Contest for $30 shit. Peace.